This is Ron with Art Gallery Showcase, and I have the privilege of having a longtime friend, a problem child probably. <laughs> no, actually she's been a dream to work with, Agnes Copeland. How's it to be here today? I'm glad you showed up. Well, of course. This is for a website, right? Oh, oh yeah, for whatever you want to use it for, but we want people to know all about you. So when did you start painting? I started painting in my mid-50s. Yeah, and I'm currently 88. Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't ever say that. Then they'll be expecting me to oh, tell them Oh, it's an achievement. Yes. It's an achievement. So you do, these pieces today we're going to see are mostly paper. When did you transition into doing that, or you've always done that? No, I, tr I used to do watercolors. and uh, That's what you're really thinking. Primarily. Right? And uh, I was on a workshop in Oaxaca, Mexico and I painted a painting and the teacher had me paint this red sky and when I got it home I loved the painting but I didn't like the red sky so I <laughs> collaged the sky and I beaded the turrets on the church and I put a lot of paper in it and it got in National Watercolor Society. So from then on any mistake in a watercolor immediately <laughs> got covered by paper. So it worked for you. It did work, and uh, I've done a lot of the mix of the watercolor and the paper uh, collage, and they've been very successful. Well, you've been teaching this at Art Affair for... I've taught it for about, uh, oh, I'd say five to ten years off and on, yeah. Whenever you're in and the mood. Yeah, I have a class once a week. Um, for four to six hours. So if you guys get a chance during the summer, take her class because I hear it's fun. Yeah, I have 10 classes uh, during the summer and people really enjoy themselves and they come away with a finished product. And that's the best part and yeah. they feel good about it. And oh, they, they love it. it. And they come back and take another class. <laughs> I get a lot of repeaters. <laughs> Let's take a look at this first piece. The first piece here is uh, Crystal Cove, which is the newest national state park in the state of California. I didn't know that. And it's a collection of uh, houses that were on leased land uh, from the Irvine Company. The houses were built in probably the 20s and 30s. They're being renovated now and rented out through the state park to the public. And I used to go down there and paint uh, with one of my instructors who had lived down there. And it's just very quaint, and I like to, I've colored it very much. It's generally not as colorful as what I painted. <laughs> and let's take a look at the next piece. Well, the next piece is Tuscany. And uh, through my painting travels, I've traveled quite a bit to Europe. I used to take about two trips one before the summer and one after the summer. And Italy's my absolute favorite place to go and I've painted, gone there oh, six or seven times. And I just paint, it's kind of an emotional reaction to the, what I feel about Italy. And uh, that one happens to be Tuscany. And it's, they're all hill towns, most of them. And, you know, there were pathways up to them and the houses all stacked this way and that way. It's clothes hanging. Gorgeous. On the So it looks like windows. the home place you want to be then, huh? I would love to be there. <laughs> Let's yeah. take a look at the next one. Oh, and the next one is Joy of Koi. And this is a mixed media piece. Uh, it was uh, a, um, originally an acrylic and paper piece, and then the uh, koi fish or paste on it, and then I've used uh, the uh, paint to make the water move and everything, and I know it's on gold. Fish aren't supposed to swim in a golden pool, but mm. they are goldfish. <laughs> yeah, and I do see the movement in it. Yes. That's the really cool part about that piece is the motion yeah. that you see uh -huh. with the fish. Let's look at the next piece. 
Oh, we're back into the paper again, it looks like. Yes, this one is Laguna Beach. And it, I usually, when I paint Laguna Beach, I'm usually in the um, facing uh, the main beach. Mm -hmm. There's a little uh, pavilion that's covered where you can set up an easel and look. So I paint from that viewpoint. And I like to show the houses on the beach and the hills behind and the beach and uh, the rocks and the birds. And the, the Laguna Beach pieces are always quite popular. There's a lot of palm trees. Oh, yeah, because mm -hmm. the tourists come in during the summer and they go to these yes. shows. and They want to take a piece of California and Laguna Beach and the beach with them. Yeah, it's, I'm kind of known for that. I always have to have a... Laguna Beach piece and especially Crystal when Cove piece. Especially when they're back in Maine in January and it's snowing, they can look at that and try to get a little bit warmer. Yes, I sold one this summer, went to Iowa. Really? In fact, well, maybe that one. <laughs> and they may be, uh, they'll definitely be looking for that when it gets colder right. this winter time. Let's look at the next one. And this next one again is Italy and it's all paper and one of the things about the hill town villages is that they're all walled cities and they're all crumbling and broken down. And then I've used a lot of newspaper in this. I like to use uh, things that I find in the newspaper. Uh, I was going to say this one's kind of different because I'm seeing writing on this one. Yeah, well, it's just uh, travel and there's, uh, you know, little sometimes I find little things like I found a little saying printed in the newspaper that it's nice to be queen sometimes <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I put that in anything I can find that just relates to the subject matter and so you've been doing the paperwork for about well since 92 92 mm -hmm. I r actually changed because physically when you paint a watercolor, it has to be framed underneath glass. Yeah. And if you paint a large one, why you're talking about carrying around a big 10 heavy to 15, piece. 20 pounds, depending upon the size and the framing. And uh, so I wanted to go with doing the work on canvas. And you can do collage on canvas or they can do it wood. On you, there's thin wood that you can get. That masonite. And masonite, you can, you know, or uh, heavy watercolor paper, but then again, you're back at framing. So I, I don't like to deal with the framing. The you, don't can, like, you don't like me that much, do you? Oh, I like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but when you carry around, I used to do the road shows oh. from San Diego up to Seattle and anything west of the Mississippi. And I have did about well, how many weeks are there in a year? 52? Mm -hmm. About 26 of them a year. Jeepers Anywhere Christ. from 20 to 26. And I just loved it. A road gypsy. <laughs> so that's why. But anyway, Agnes, it's great that you came in today, shared some of well, your stories you. with us, shared some of your art with us. And I can't see what you can't wait to see what you're going to do next. So. Oh, I have some things in mind. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you.